Hear my voice my God. In my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Who wet their tongue like a sword. And bend to shoot their arrows. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord, and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight, my goodness, and my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all, he keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Hear me when I call, thou God of my righteousness, thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. You sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, who will show us any good. Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart. More than in the time that their call and their wine increase, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou alone, Lord, allows me to dwell in safety.
Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, God to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. They break in pieces thy people, Lord, and afflict thy inheritance. They slay the widow and the stranger, and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, The Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand ye brutish among the people, and when will ye be wise ye fools? He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? He that chastiseth the heathen, shall not he correct? He that teacheth man knowledge, shall not he know? The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest. Lord, teach him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity, until the pit be digged for the wicked. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them, who passing through the valley make it a well. The rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appear if before God. <laughs> 